Hey girls, welcome to Ask Jesse. Thanks for another week of crazy awesome questions. Okay, it's okay. The first question is from Christina, and Christina asks, how often do you recommend doing a particular workout? Example, if I choose a back workout, how many weeks should I do the same routine in a row? Great question, Christina. What I like to do is kind of set a general rule for yourself where you're not doing the exact same routine more than four weeks in a row. That's kind of when I like to switch it up. For example, in almost every single one of my Jesse's Girls training programs, I build them exactly like that. So I have a certain set of exercises for muscle building or bikini body or home addition, and we do those every week, each week for four weeks, some of the books have different phase terms, so it's either three or four weeks. And uh, at the end of that phase, or three or four weeks, we do the sets and rep scheme that I build all over again, but we change up all of the exercises. And I do that because it's really important for you to have consistency with progression, meaning progression with your sets and your reps and your weight, but that can only take you so far in terms of not hitting a plateau. So eventually, if you take a 12 to 14 week program, for example, and you are practicing progression through the whole entire program, that is fantastic. And you are gonna have amazing, amazing changes to your physique. But where the problem lies with that is that you are going to get bored with your workouts. Yes, it's exciting to be able to add more weight next week on the same exercises that you did the week before. Yes, it's exciting to be able to get through four sets of 15 with a really heavy weight that was really challenging last week and the week before that, but it seemed almost easy this week, so you know you're ready to move on and keep growing and grab bigger weights. But you still, after four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks of doing the exact same exercises week after week after week, you are going to feel a little bit bored or maybe not so excited for that workout. So I like to take a routine and repeat it so that you are having consistency so that you do have something to gauge your progression success with. So if you switch up your workouts every single workout, you're never gonna really know if you are progressing in weight and strength with shoulder press, for example. If I do shoulder press on Monday and then the next Monday when I'm doing another shoulder workout, I don't use the shoulder press exercise. I have a whole new set of exercises and I don't do shoulder press for another two or three weeks. I don't add that back into my workout for another couple of weeks. Your progression with shoulder press is going to go really, really, really slow. So you want to do shoulder press every week for four or five weeks, three, four, five weeks max three weeks minimum, five weeks maximum probably. Even, you can even push six weeks, but that's if you're really patient and not easily bored. I get bored really, really easy. So I'm like a four week girl and I've got to switch it up. That's my max. So I would do shoulder press every Monday for your shoulder day, week one, week two, week three, week four, practice progression that entire time, and then week five, have a whole new set of workouts for your shoulder day and do the same thing over again. So I hope that makes sense. That's what I do. It's all laid out for you in the Justice Girls training programs. If you have one of the programs or purchase one of the programs and kind of look at it as a whole before you start, you will see my whole underlying structure of what goes into those books. It's not just, here's a whole bunch of badass workouts, here's your sets, here's your reps. It is this crazy mastermind plan. I didn't invent anything it's awesome traditional bodybuilding bodybuilder muscle building concepts that have been put into play for years and years and years and years and years i have just taken all the bits and pieces from all of those different really great philosophies of bodybuilders that i followed of amazing figure athletes from the early 90s until today just awesome different training programs that I've tried over the years while I was building up my own physique. I've taken all those bits and pieces that I've found that have worked the best if you stick to it and stay consistent with it and really track your progress and keep a training log. That underlying foundation to any training program is really what's going to make all the difference, is just not being random, not just winging it in the gym. If you are winging it in the gym, first let me say that I'm very happy you're in the gym and that is better than nothing, but 
to take it to the next level and to truly change your physique takes an underlying structure, that foundation in your training and that underlying whole entire plan that's gonna go into the mastermind behind what you're doing week in and week out. So I just got a little crazy, but sorry, I'm really passionate about it. <laughs> so do back day the same four weeks in a row and then switch it up. That was the short answer to your question. <laughs>